In this section, we're going to discuss markdowns. Markdowns are used to stimulate sales volume. And let's define the term markdown when applied to selling. When merchandise does not sell as its marked price, the price is often reduced. The difference between the original selling price and the reduced selling price is called the markdown with the selling price after the markdown called the reduced price, sales price, or actual selling price. The basic formula for markdown is as follows. Original price minus markdown equals the reduced sale or actual selling price. So let's take a look at calculating some markdowns. In our reduced price formula, the original selling price is always the base or 100%. And we can calculate the amount of a markdown if we're given the original and reduced price. Likewise, if we're given the original price and the markdown, we can determine the reduced price. And we also can determine the percent of markdown, which is always calculated on the original selling price. So here in this first example, they're giving us an original price and the percent markdown. They're asking us for the dollar amount of the markdown and the eventual reduced price. So here's our foundation formula with the original price acting as the base. We're given a markdown at 25%, which means if you're using the formula 100% minus 25%, our reduced price is equivalent to 75% of the original price. We have the original price. We have a couple options of how we can solve this at this point. They're asking for both of these quantities. We could solve for either one first. But if we choose to solve for the markdown first, we have a base and a rate, and we're looking for the part. To solve for part, we'll take base times rate as a decimal, 0.25, gives us a value there, which we will want to round to the nearest cent, and equals $7.24. Once we have our markdown, we can find our reduced price by subtracting the markdown from the original price. We could have gone with a percentage as well for solving for that. In this next problem, we're given the original price and the reduced price. Again, the original price is where our base is. Filling in that information, we can determine how much the markdown was. And once we have the markdown, then we can determine the percentage the markdown represents. So the difference between the original price and the reduced price is a savings or a markdown amount of $2.06. We now have a part where we're looking for a rate and have the base. To solve for a rate, we take part, the markdown amount, $2.06 divided by the base, 525. Converting this into a percentage, we have 39.2% markdown. In this next example, we're given an original price and the reduced price, similar to the last problem, and asking us for the percent markdown. Using our foundation formula for reduced price and the base being the original price, we can replace those terms with the actual values given. First thing we can do to get us towards the answer is to find the actual markdown amount. So taking the original price minus the reduced price gives us a markdown amount of $150.75. That is the part where we're looking for the rate and can use the base of the original price. So to find rate, we take part divided by base, converting that decimal into a percentage. The percent markdown is 18%. Variation on a theme here. We're given this time a sales price and a percent markdown, and they're asking us for the original price. So again, using the reduced price formula as our framework for solving this problem. Plugging in what we know, we're looking for the original price because it's associated with 100%, it's the base. 
we are given a markdown percentage of 30%. And if you do the subtraction from the framework formula, 100% minus 30% tells us the reduced price represents 70% of the original price. We also know what that sales price is. And now we have two of the three components in a percentage problem. We have a rate with an associated part that will allow us to solve for the base. Base is calculated by taking the part divided by the rate and we have our answer then the original price is $98.50. Another problem similar to the last one we're given the sales price and the percentage markdown Identifying what we're given and what we're looking for, the original price is the goal because of the 100% being the original price, that's the location of our base. A markdown of 15% means the reduced price is the complement of 15%. 100 minus 15% is 85% and we know what that dollar amount is. The reduced price is the $7,550. We have a rate, we have a part, and we're looking for the base. Base is found by taking part divided by rate, expressed as a decimal, and we have the original price of $8,882.50.